All right, what is good, everybody? It's your boy Rebound here. In case you don't know me, I'm an artist based out of Frankfort, Kentucky, now out of Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm at Xavier University, I'm a graphic design major, and today we are working on my sophomore review project. So this project is actually something that's gonna last over the span of about a month and a half, two months. Uh, and it's sort of a qualifying project uh, in the art department at my university. I go to Xavier University. And so it's kind of like this qualifying stage in your sophomore year uh, that you use to put, this, put together a, a huge project and that kind of defines who you are as an artist and whether you continue in the program or not. So I've decided to record my entire process from start to finish uh, of my design concepts, working through my whole project, and telling you all how everything's gonna be going, the actual production and setup of our final product. So for my project, I'm actually going to be fully designing two custom snowboards, which you can probably see right here. They're big. So granted, I'm a small guy, but these are full, two full-size snowboards that I'm gonna be fully customizing, designing, and then hand painting for my final project. So what we're actually going to be painting and designing on these, I don't know yet, really. <laughs> um, so my main concept that I'm running with and going so far that I really wanna hit on is telling Japanese folktale stories. If you look at a lot of my art, a lot of it does kind of revolve and focus around a lot of Japanese culture, uh, anime, comic styles, and it's just something that personally interests me. I was gonna study abroad in Japan, uh, it's 2021, and we're still not there yet, but it's all right. So I've wanted to customize these snowboards in a handmade kind of retold version of a lot of these old traditional Japanese folk tales using a lot more different uh, like modern pop colors and making it in my own vibrant stuff. So on top of the two snowboards, uh, whatever two designs or one design, whatever we end up going with uh, that we choose for those is actually I'm gonna, gonna be made into two separate prints. So they'll be available as prints as well as the full custom boards. So I think that's gonna be pretty interesting, both prints and boards going really ambitious with this whole project and I have like no time to do it. So I've already started working on a few concept ideas and a few starting sketches and inspiration for my project, but I need like 40 to 60 sketches uh, before I can go ahead and start moving on and bringing stuff down to roughs and uh, kind of finalizing these ideas before I move into color and getting things even more further done. And then I can decide what prints I want to go ahead and fully render and then paint on the boards. So I can go ahead and pop up a few of the designs that I've started working on. I have no clue where they're gonna be. I have like eight of them, like eight to 10 of them so far. Uh, but today we're gonna be continuing working on a lot of those sketches. Okay, jumping right in, the main program that I'm gonna be using is Adobe Photoshop. It's what I use to get pretty much all my sketches at least done and down in digital ink, I guess. Um, and once I get all of these sketches kind of played out uh, and designed, then once I start refining them and getting them in better condition to whatever final sketches we wanna do, that's when I'm gonna pop everything over into Illustrator, and that's when we can really refine all the lines and drop some colors in. So hopefully you'll be able to see kind of how I'm working. Uh, it's, this is a really awkward <laughs> angle. I'm drawing with the camera over my shoulder. Um, but hopefully you'll be able to see kind of how I've been working and working on a lot of these sketches. Uh, since it's gonna be on a board and I guess a print as well, the dimensions of this are very awkward. They're very, very um, vertically based. So that kind of makes it weird for the working screen. I can't obviously have it as this wide out. So a lot of times I'm working a lot more finer in um, and working on all of these different details. Now obviously this is just a sketch and I'm really only working on one layer uh, and just kind of getting my basic thoughts and ideas down on the forms, shapes, and kind of how I want everything laid out. So 
let's get to work on a new piece. Okay, so it is a new day. It's actually been quite a few days since I've recorded. Um, just trying to work on regular school stuff and get everything done. But we finished all of our like preliminary sketches. Uh, I ended up doing about 20 uh, kind of like unique, different ideas of sketches. And we're gonna choose, uh, I'm gonna try and take them down. I have three in mind that are my kind of favorites. I can hopefully figure out pop up around here. I'm mainly looking at sketch number five and sketch number six and working to make those kind of a uh, almost like a balance of like two separate boards of like a good and evil side that kind of work together with each other. The third one of the Samurai Toads, uh, I really like the composition and like kind of just simple style. Uh, I think that's definitely a lot more in my, my style. I'm not really sure exactly how much the story would come across as well and how much I would actually do with with that, especially since a lot of my other designs are vertical based and that one's really horizontal. Um, so I kind of want to stick to having both of them being one or the other. So now we're moving into phase two of getting like 20 more sketches done of just these two varieties. So hopefully we can come out with some a lot more interesting compositions. I'm probably gonna start dropping some basic uh, color schemes in. Um, not doing like full color, but getting an idea of like more background and what I wanna do for like a spray paint gradient in the back. So yeah, let's see how this goes. And my camera's almost dead. Okay, so I've started to run into a few problems working on these designs in that uh, I've only made a couple designs so far. Uh, it's six, five o'clock, and I need to have like 20 designs done by the end of the day. I'm, not, I'm just not really feeling the, uh, the stacked frogs, Jiraiya, but I'm still really, really in love with the design of the, I'm, I call them the watchers, the three watchers. And so I'm trying to morph and work with that and replace the middle watcher, the old man with Jiraiya instead. And then I'm hopefully planning on doing a bunch of different stuff with the background and probably trying to like manipulate some things, change some layouts but it's a little complicated because I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna get 20 different variants out of such kind of a static uh, design where it's just these three characters kind of placed. That's mainly been the biggest challenge uh, is finding a way to get all these different variants and get them kind of, kind of put down. But however, I have some ramen in a bowl. Not bowl, eh, this is a bowl, but some to-go ramen from my school's cafeteria. Um, if 
you can call it ramen, but that's, you know, we're gonna refuel, we're gonna keep going, and we're gonna push through these designs until I can start working on the snake design and then get that pumped out. I've got some more ideas for that. I'm still not exactly sure how I'm gonna get another like 10 variants of the snake. Look at this just holy glow. Like, it is a super nice day outside, finally. The weather's been looking good. Everything's been feeling good. Um, and so it's time to get back to work. So right now we're going into phase three, technically. We got to really work on those rough designs that we were trying to kind of get pumped out and a little more realized into planning. Um, I don't remember exactly how I numbered them, but the ones that I am really looking to, to push on and that I could kind of tell were my favorites from the beginning were, were the horizontal layouts of, at least for the Jiraiya poster and being the, the one of the two frogs and Jiraiya in the center with, I'm thinking of still keeping with that that pink and orange background uh, and then possibly maybe changing that. And I'm not sure exactly if I want to do the leaves colored yet, but that's my favorite for that one is the two frogs with dry in the middle and the, uh, the leaves on the bottom with the bamboo in the back. And I might do some leaf work on the top, but I'm thinking of just doing the leaf work and bamboo in the background. And then for the Orochimaru snake board, again, uh, since I really liked having the horizontal layout for the Jiraiya board, that one was definitely my, my, my favorite out of that. I kind of want to keep them similar so that they work with each other a lot more and, and I'm not having a horizontal and then a vertical board because I feel like that would just look really weird. So I kind of want to keep that, keep the same theme going with it. And so for that one, I'm really liking the one of the snake character kind of going and warping around uh, all the letters. And I might change the lettering up a bit, but uh, I think I'm gonna stick with it right now. Oh, and then for the background, uh, I didn't really think about this much whenever I was doing all my sketching, but I gotta have something on, I can just like side light my face with my hand. Yeah, I didn't think about it much for sketches, but the backdrop, I'm gonna need, I'm prob probably gonna need something for the opposite side of the boards. And that wasn't something that I really planned out, at least during my sketching phase. So that was something that came up during this last one. And I really like the the gradient with just the, the three characters, which at least according to Google Translate, I need to check up with some people that I know who actually speak Japanese. But according to Google Translate is uh, the Tales of Long Ago, which is the project title for this whole thing. So yeah, going into this stage, I'm really kind of looking to just clean up a lot of my line work and then transition and get these ready to be fully colored. And these are basically gonna be rolling out into being full prints. I think normally if this was gonna be just a print project, like if all, the only thing I was gonna be doing was the prints, I would spend so much longer on this, but it's already, it's already March 6th and it's 5.30 right now. But so it's already March 6th. Um, we have, I have this next update due on March 15th. Yeah. Uh, and then we only have one more update after that being, I believe the 29th. So anyways, gotta work hard. Gotta get this busted out. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna do this in Photoshop or in Illustrator yet. I'm probably gonna work in Photoshop first and just clean up my lines and then probably drop it into Illustrator because with how large this is gonna be, I want it to kind of be able to, I definitely want everything to be clean and ready for print. So I don't wanna to have to go through making everything in Photoshop and then having like the DPI or resolution not being the best and having to redo everything in Illustrator. Granted, it wouldn't be that awful, but just trying to save time. Um, so we're still gonna play around with that and see kind of where we go from there. So, one more thing, actually, is that my girlfriend got me, let me see if I can get it, this Onward, <laughs> uh, what was it, figurine? Yeah, an Onward figurine. 
simply because every time we saw trailers for this, and we actually watched the movie, but every time we saw it, um, she says I look like the main character. Uh, I, I cut, she cut my hair, so it's not as much recently. Maybe, possibly. Do you see the resemblance? <sighs> Disney, Disney did me wrong. Tell you, I'm tired of drawing these leaves <laughs> and drawing the, his, the acorn hat. I like the way it looks, but that is just so much repetition and it's starting to scare me for when I'm gonna have to do all these snake scales up ahead. But I've got all the main inking down for at least the three characters and then the leaves in the front. So now comes the stage of doing everything and all the inking for the back bamboo. But I'm also just not feeling that great. I think I ate something weird for dinner, but we're gonna keep pushing through it and try and get at least most of this bamboo banged out tonight. That way, the next days throughout the week, I can really uh, work on the snake and then get more things laid down and possibly in color. Ooh, all right, back to bamboo. All right, we are putting in some work on this snake right now, and I'm about to get to the part where it's just basically gonna be scales. Scales in top of scales, on top of scales, on top of scales. So at least for this line part, it might not be as interesting, but I'm definitely gonna show a lot of it. And also there's like a party going on outside and it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, a lot of people have just been kind of going out and not really caring about the whole mask mandate which is pretty concerning um especially since this is uh just kind of how that all started pretty much exactly this time last year all right i've got like the next two three days to really bang out these this line work and, and get to get to work on coloring so whew, let's get to that So, still working on the snake design, and 
I'm starting to realize these scales are gonna really start taking a lot. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty taxing. Uh, you know, we're around to the right kind of like side, like not butt side, but I'm calling it the butt side, the right butt side of the snake where it's about to curve over the, the last kind of kanji character. I went and looked back and I've been flipping back and forth between both the snake design and the, the frogs and Jiraiya, and they just don't feel kind of connected. Like they almost feel like they're designed by two different people or in two different styles. So I kind of want to get them similar uh, and, and get that like my style going with it. So I'm gonna try and do my thing and get it get it spiced up and, and working. But I'm gonna get the skills done first because that's that's a pretty big challenge. Whew. Okay, so that is a wrap. It is approximately 2.15. Oh gosh, it's 2.15 in the morning. Um, honestly, not that bad. Uh, we've had worse before, but obviously trying to be a little quiet. So no, I'm super happy with how they've turned out. Um, I got a little definitely bummed out kind of through part of it, and I really wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out, but I really like both designs. I'm super pumped about it. I think these are gonna be the final prints, and you know, over the next few days, I might, you know, take a few days to look back at them and see if there's anything else I wanna change or edit or just kind of tweak and really fine, uh, like fine tweak and get them get them a hundred percent ready. But other than that, uh, I think I think they're good. I think it's about time to get the boards ready, uh, sand it down. I'm gonna go buy some spray paint here soon. We can get to work on those. But uh, although I just finished the designs, not finished working yet because I gotta get these ready to put up for our sophomore review update. <sighs> I'm, I'm not getting any sleep tonight. It's it's gonna be a rough night. All right, so it's been a few days now, and so now we're actually gonna be able to finally start working on the physical snowboard. And this is a part that I'm really unsure about. I'm not a traditional painter or like very skilled with traditional fine arts with painting. Um, I do like using spray paint. I do think it's super fun. I went out just the other day and Got some pretty cool colors that I plan on using for uh, for the backgrounds of the board. I'll probably need to go and get a few more because there's a few colors I missed. But I'm just rocking with some pretty interesting Krylon spray paints. Uh, I'm gonna try and first today get the boots off of the board and get them kind of cleaned up and ready and then take them outside and sand them down a bit to, to, get, them, to get them nice and roughed up. The, this whole part of the project is going to be pretty reliant on the weather, uh, which kind of scares me. The deadline is fast approaching. I have just really only the next maybe three weeks or so to really just bang out this project and get it fully done. So I really have to make the most of these sunny, warm days where I'm able to get outside and spray paint. But all right, let's get to work.
Okay, so there might be quite a, a slight change in scenery, and that is because I'm actually back home in Kentucky uh, at my father's house, and so I'm gonna be continuing to work on the project uh, while I'm here. I'm about to, it's a little cold still, so hopefully the sunlight right now um, will, will help with everything, but I'm about to start my second white base coat, um, at least on the top, and then work on my base coats for the, the backs of the boards. So hopefully we'll be able to get that done today. Uh, it's gonna be warmer over the next few days and we can we can really get the, the gradients going and, and get those done. And then hopefully a little bit over the weekend also get all the sketching and everything done. So, all right, time to get to work. Okay, so just finished finally um, going through and marking everything on uh, the outlines of the snake. And I'm about to take it off, but I'm super worried. I kind of just periodically checked and like tried to peek under the paper to see and just double check that the, the graphite and charcoal was getting put down. No, so it, it super scared me. Um, I'm still very worried about it, but I'm about to take the tape off and try to carefully skillfully take off uh, the paper without smearing what got put down. I gotta tell you, I'm tired of sitting on this floor hunched over drawing and it is making my butt hurt, my legs hurt, I'm, just, I'm tired. But I gotta go through this and then use an ink pen or a sharpie and go through and trace over everything one more time, hopefully. I'm tired of drawing scales, but I'm so close to being done. But, all right, let's get this thing lifted off. Oh, that is so cool. This is so cool, finally, seeing it put on the board and like it, even though it did get, yeah, like it did get cut off a bit, but like, it looks just so cool. All right, hey y'all, I gotta be quiet, but just finished the black outlines um, on the entire frog board. So uh, it's 6, 11 in the morning right now, which is why I'm being quiet, but super happy with how it's turning out. And yeah, it's just, I'm very tired, but I can finally, finally go to sleep. Um, started this yesterday afternoon and been working on it straight through so i can finally show y'all now so super super happy with how the lines turned out i haven't done the lettering simply because the lettering is just colored so i didn't want to do any outline on it 
but super happy with how the line work is looking. Always love these little leaves up top and just the little stumper. But yeah, I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. So um, I only have a few days left to paint these boards and get everything ready. So I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> All right, it's the next day that I'm working on the project. Not all of that happened in one day, obviously. Um, it's been a while since I've kind of hopped in here to say something about the project. Um, I've just been really trying to rush and uh, get everything done. But I've got the first frog, Mr. First Froggy Face done. It's taking quite a while overall to do um, this whole <laughs> part but the coloring is actually going so much faster than I really expected um, and I'm, I'm really digging everything the plan for today is to go ahead and try and finish up this board um, entirely except for the back end obviously I still need to do the back um, but to go ahead and finish up dry it in the center he shouldn't take long at all I have an alarm telling me my laundry is done <laughs> so, all right, well, we'll go do laundry first and then we're gonna finish up Jiraiya. Um, he shouldn't take long at all. It's just doing some highlights and shadows in the hair and then the skin and hoodie is super easy. Just a few different colors of the same. Hopefully by tonight, I can go ahead and start working on doing a bit of color for the snake. Cause I would love, love, love to go ahead and start coloring the snake tonight. That way I have two days and a little bit of extra time to work on the snake board and then gotta get everything finished up Friday. So, all right, gonna go do my laundry. <laughs>
All right, so that is a wrap on my sophomore review project, Tales of Long Ago. I hope you all were able to really enjoy uh, watching my process and just seeing how I've developed my ideas and just the overall evolution of this project from start to finish, from the very beginnings and just bedrock ideas and foundation of what I was even really planning on doing all the way up through digital design and painting and into our final products. I'm super happy with how everything has turned out in the end. I think it's time that we get some final close-up shots and some good looks at our final product. And again, thank you all so much. I hope you all enjoyed those final shots of our end product. I loved this project so much and going through everything, fleshing out my ideas and being able to explore the duality between old and new of old painting and traditional styles of artwork mixed with the new graphic design style kind of combined together and then also mixing that with these traditional Japanese folktale stories and bringing those into a new life and giving them some new vibrancy, some new color, bringing them into a modern era. It was so much fun. I plan to keep posting and doing this a whole lot more. Hopefully there won't be giant projects like this uh, that will take, you know, three, four months to complete, but I plan to keep posting more of these art videos. I got some pretty cool animations and projects lined up down the pipeline. So if you enjoyed this project, please consider sticking around and checking out the new stuff that I'll be having coming out. And I think that's it. I'm Rebound. Peace.